Good morning, YouTube. Um, yeah, I'm going. I'm trying to adjust my camera to uh, I'm trying to figure. Out, okay, so that might be okay. Um, yeah. So I'm just. I have just gotten into just having makeup fun. I don't have a direction for my look um, for today. It's been part of the course for the last few um, videos that I have uploaded. Let me know what you guys think about, you know, just doing the random um, and just trying out new products and um, having a little bit of fun. Um, and with that being said, I did, I did, I found this Jordana Fabu Brow Eyebrow Pencil. And um, because I want to been, I have been wanting to try something a little bit different for my eyebrows. Just a little softer look. I picked this up and I'm going to, I tried it yesterday and I'm going to use it again today. So, um, I moisturized today. I think I'm going to go pick this up. The Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Mega Moisture Cream. I had the sample and I really like the way it makes my face feel. Um, yeah, I really do. And because I used, um, the other day I used, uh, what did I use? It was something. Oh, because I've been, you know, setting my under eye with the powder. I still am going in with the uh, e.l.f. I, what's it called? Elf eye, what is this stuff called? The Illuminating Eye Cream. Um, because I, it just adds a little bit more moisture up under my eyes that I think I need since I do kind of bake underneath my eyes. It's so it does, ooh, I got some in my eye doesn't become crusty uh, looking to me okay so I'm gonna get my eyebrows I may let you guys see my eyebrow with the pencil uh, let me just finish moisturizing and getting my primers on my eyes and I'll be right back okay so as you can tell this is um, one done already and really all I'm, I'm doing is just kind of like light strokes um, nothing made a mistake right there but I'll let the concealer so really all I did was take this pencil and I just traced underneath the hair right there If you heard my TV, I'm sorry. I forgot to mute it before I got started. Um, but yeah, so that's really the gist of the eyebrows. Just kind of like flaking, not flicking my but, uh, pencil. And I just like the way this comes off. Not too heavy. So I'm going to go in and clean it up with concealer on those spots that I need to. And then I am going to take and just kind of make sure that this product is brushed through and then we'll set everything yeah but i i like it i do i really do yeah okay clean it up now with some concealer oh wait i got my eyebrows on So yeah, I'm just flicking and correcting. Can I fill up those little hairs and lay down? Eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters. So they may not look exactly alike, but they're on. All right, so I think, you know what? Let me try to figure out what eyeshadow or palette or whatever I want to do today. And I'm gonna probably go ahead and um, lay down my base. I'm going to use the laying low today. I'm just going to finger it. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to use my finger. <laughs> so, while I'm doing this, I just have a quick question. Have you guys tried the new, you know, I'm a nail tech, and on my nails today, I have on the new Essie Gel Couture. 
and I'm in love with it because it dries in like five minutes and I have done air clean my brushes last night and I've had this on for um, a few days now normally my polish doesn't last that long only because I'm working and doing all that good stuff but let me tell you the this formula for the gel couture is the bomb and um, I'm super duper excited to have it at the salon no shameless plug because I'm just saying you know if you if you're near a salon where you can get the um, NC gel couture applied definitely go for it I don't think you'll be disappointed all right, now that that's on, I'm actually just gonna kind of like take my little beauty blender and I mean, not a little wig sponge, and I'm just gonna kind of push it into the eye. I'm just neutralizing my eye, and I'm not gonna set that with any powder because um, this dries really fast. So um, I'm just gonna go straight in with um, color once I figure out what I want to do. So you know what? I'll be back. These videos are So long. I did pick up the new Too Faced Totally Cute palette. And it is cute. Um, and a lot of people are having an issue with the stickers. Now, I don't find that offensive. I think it's actually kind of adorable to kind of have that kind of fun with your makeup. These are the colors. Um, So you already know. I think I'm going to lean more towards this tealish, this green. I don't know. I'm just feeling that. Um, Yeah, so let's get started. I'm actually going to take double scoop. Since I didn't use a powder and just kind of cover the first half of my eyelid with that to try make the other transition colors kind of pop go ahead and lay down really well so yeah I'm doing the first half of my eyelid with this color I know it doesn't look like much but believe me it would all come together so that bunny foo foo color, <laughs> that's cute. I'm gonna take my NYX cup um, brush in what number is this? 17. I'm just gonna pick up that color and just kind of go straight into the little crease and a little bit above, not too far up. And you just wanna keep blending that. These colors are really pigmented. This is the color um, chocolate donut. I'm just going to kind of keep it right here. This is a MAC 217, I think is what this number is. Kind of rubbed off a little bit. Let's bring it over just a little bit. This chocolate donut color is so pretty. Just to deepen it a little bit. So I'm going to keep blending these out. And I'll be back with the next eyeshadow color. So the next color I'm going to pick up is from is this clover color. Um, I just want to see it, what it does without me wetting it. It's pretty. Yes. Oh yeah, I like that. These colors are nice. Way to go, Too Faced. Yes, I like that. Ooh, you know I love me some color on my ass. So what I'm gonna do is take um a little bit of the storm cloud color i'm just going to pick it up on this real techniques brush and i'm going to blend out the edges with that green the little teal 
just to have a little more of a transition down into the green. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going straight in on top of the green that I just laid down. I don't care what they say, these are blending beautifully. Not working hard at all. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the chocolate donut um, color like right here. I'm just gonna go pack that back on. I like that look of it. So yeah, I'm gonna take the brush that I used to pack to put the other the storm cloud color. I'm just gonna blend out of those colors in on the end. Okay, we'll be okay. Back. I feel like I needed a little more of the green, so I did pick up a little bit more and just kind of go straight in on top of my crease. Just to give me a little more definition, separate, and then just kind of, you know, blend it out. And that's really it. Um, I think I am going to take the other side and pick up a little bit of that meow color that's in here. I just want to kind of darken it just a tad bit on the end. And that's it. I just, not a lot, just kind of bended it all in. So I took the last color, Unicorn, and I did uh, use that as a brow bone highlight. And I am going to take the color, what's this color? Um, Shooting Star. Let's see. That's my inner corner highlight. I'm sure I'm gonna have to go back over this one side. Uh, Cause I kinda made this a little dark, so I'm gonna take this a little bit up into my eye. And I'm gonna grab this little brush right here for real techniques and kinda blend it in. I'm gonna put on my primer, which is gonna be the uh, Black Radiance. So yeah, I just added a bit, a bit of the highlight and brought it in to kind of keep that area kind of light. I didn't want it to be so, so dark right there. So yeah, let me get these other um, primers on and I'll be back to finish up the eyes. I think that's it. Uh, as far as face, I'll show you that I did pick up um, the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. I, I like it. So I want you guys to see how it applies on camera. And I did use my Born This Way 2 concealer over the weekend too and I do like it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to come back and then my whole face will be done. I believe I just wanted you guys to kind of see the tutorial with the, um, Too Faced, the look that I came up with, which I like. I'll be back. So I have all my correctors on. Uh, I did go in with the Becca under eye today. Um, cause I'm only going to use one, um, concealer cause I want to see how the Too Faced and the Too Faced work together today. So yeah, I'm gonna do the foundation and then the concealer. So yeah, we're gonna, and then we're gonna set with the new um, Kat Von D translucent loose powder just under the eye. Um, Cause I've been liking going in for my all over. Um, it's the Topaz by um, Ben Nye. Um, 
I like it. I just like it. So, yeah, I'm going to get that on, and then I'll come back, and we will do the mascara, um, the new mascara that I picked up to kind of play with. Um, and I think that's it. So, let me know what you guys think so far about this little eye look I'm I'm doing. I'm rocking. Um, I liked it. I mean, I like the those colors are really really pigmented but let me get all my face on and then you guys can see that i'm gonna actually go under um i think with this lighter green because i kind of want to keep it kind of fun today so you know i'm not afraid I of color want you guys to see the um finish of the foundation it does a really good job of covering um my pigmentation and the blend out is really really easy all i did was pounce i laid it down and i just pounced the, the foundation into the skin not not rubbing but just like this really more so pouncing it over and getting it into the skin and i like it i can't wait for you guys to see the finished touch so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go straight into because like i said i put that other brightening one under there just kind of counteract a little more of the darkness that i have up underneath my eye and let me tell you guys i love this concealer so yeah i'm just gonna use this as my highlight today i'm not gonna go so far up i'm gonna kind of like blend it in with the other concealer that i already kind of the corrector that i laid down but yeah i like this concealer by now Curious to see how it does with the foundation and um, its own foundation and everything on my face. So I'm going to blend it out and then uh, we'll come back and see what the Kat Von D translucent looks like on my skin, on camera. <laughs> I'll be back. So before things get a little too crazy underneath my eye, I'm going to shift out a little of the powder. Uh, these shifters are interesting and I'm just gonna take um, this real techniques I think this is the setting brush I'm just gonna dip it in and let's just see Ooh, let's just see I'm gonna put this on and then I'm actually gonna take my real techniques and push it further i mean yeah the, the sponge itself i'm gonna push it further into the concealer to make sure that it doesn't move So yeah, I'm going to finish setting. I'm going to get my contour on and all that good stuff. And then I'll be back and we'll finish up together. Yeah, I'm going to push this in. I'm not going to brush it off. Just going to push that into the skin. And you guys know I bake with my banana powder. Been not banana powder. Yeah. So I just wanted to use the Kat Von D today as a setting just to set this concealer. Oh, uh, it's really, really pretty. I don't know if it's coming off that way on camera, but we'll see in a little bit. So, this is the final look. Um, I could not come up with a lipstick, so I just went with the Old Faithful. Um, I just, I don't know, I just wanted something. I don't know what I'm looking for, for my lips to do, but um, yeah, today I just, I don't know, I didn't get what I wanted. I couldn't come up with anything. I think this is pretty. It wasn't exactly what I was going for, but, um, yeah. I'm adding a little <laughs> champagne pop to my face, and then just a little bit. Um, looks like I can need a little more, like, blush and stuff. So I'm just taking the same, the blush out of the, that Becca 
um, what is it, Becca palette? The Jaclyn Hill one. What's this? So the color that I used. To, ooh, wait, don't have my. So okay, hold on. So yeah, I use Champagne Pop on my cheeks with the um, Cover FX drops underneath, um, and I use the color Pom Pompa Mousse on my. Uh, and I did put a little bit of the Amaretta color on today too as well. You probably can't really see it, but um, I think it did a, made it more of a great transition before I um, in the contour part. So yeah, I am on my way out, um, and I'm trying to show you guys. Yeah. I like the way the eyes came out as well. So until next time, YouTube, I will see you guys on the other side. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Um, as always, if you have any suggestions or comments or um, anything like that, then please feel free to let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.